Hello curious minds. Have you ever looked up at the stars and felt a chill run down your spine? A sense of unease, perhaps even dread, as you contemplate the vast unknowable expanse above? You're not alone. Welcome to the world of cosmophobia. In this odyssey, we'll journey into the heart of this fear, exploring its many facets from ancient superstitions to modern anxieties fueled by real-world events. So, buckle up space cadets, as we boldly go where few have gone before. Cosmophobia. The very word evokes a sense of unease, conjuring images of a dark empty void punctuated by the distant twinkle of stars. It's a fear as old as humanity itself, rooted in our primal instincts, our need to understand and control our surroundings. At its core, cosmophobia is the fear of the cosmos, of outer space. But this fear can manifest in many forms, from the fear of the vast emptiness of space, to the fear of potential cosmic events like asteroid impacts or supernovae. Some people experience it as a fear of the unknown, a fear of what might lie beyond our planet in the vast expanse of the universe. Others experience it as a fear of the sheer scale of the cosmos, a fear of feeling insignificant and powerless in the face of such immensity. Whatever the form it takes, Cosmophobia is a real and valid fear, and it can have a significant impact on the lives of those who experience it. It can lead to anxiety, insomnia, and even panic attacks. It can also lead to avoidance behaviors, such as avoiding looking at the night sky or consuming media related to space exploration. Like many phobias, cosmophobia is often misunderstood. Some dismiss it as irrational, a fear of something that seems distant and abstract. But the universe, while vast, is far from irrelevant to our lives. The very atoms that make up our bodies were forged in the hearts of stars, supernovas scattering these building blocks of life across the universe. We are, in a very real sense, children of the cosmos. To fear space is, in a way, to fear our own origins. One common misconception is that cosmophobia is simply the fear of astronauts or aliens. While these can be elements of the phobia, they are not the whole story. Cosmophobia is a much broader fear that encompasses a wide range of anxieties and concerns related to space. Another misconception is that cosmophobia is a sign of weakness or irrationality. But fear is a natural human emotion, a survival mechanism that has helped our species navigate a dangerous world for millennia. It's how we react to that fear that defines us. Humanity's fascination with the cosmos is woven into the fabric of our existence. Yet, our journey beyond Earth has been marked by both triumph and tragedy, events that have left an undeniable mark on our collective psyche. One such event was the launch of Sputnik 1 in 1957. This seemingly small event, the beeping of a metal sphere in orbit, shattered the perceived boundaries of our world, igniting the space race and with it, a wave of both excitement and anxiety. Then came Laika, a Soviet dog cosmonaut, the first living creature to orbit Earth. Her 1957 journey captured the world's imagination, yet it also highlighted the risks inherent in space exploration. Laika's mission, though groundbreaking, ended in tragedy, a stark reminder of the unforgiving nature of space. While Laika's mission advanced our understanding of space travel, it also sparked ethical debates about animal welfare and the price of scientific progress. This event, etched in the memory of many, underscored the very real dangers of venturing beyond Earth's protective embrace. The Challenger and Columbia Space Shuttle disasters, etched in our collective memory, serve as stark reminders of the inherent risks of space exploration. These tragedies transcended national borders, reminding us that the quest to explore the cosmos comes at a cost. On January 28, 1986, the Challenger Space Shuttle disintegrated just 73 seconds after liftoff, claiming the lives of all seven crew members. The world watched in horror, the fiery plume a stark contrast against the bright blue sky. The Columbia disaster, on February 1, 2003, was a gut-wrenching echo of Challenger. The Space Shuttle, returning from a scientific mission, broke apart during re-entry, resulting in the loss of all seven astronauts on board. These events were not just failures of engineering, they were profound human tragedies that left an indelible mark on the public psyche. The impact of these disasters extended far beyond the families of the astronauts lost, triggering widespread feelings of grief, fear, and vulnerability. For many these tragedies fueled a sense of apprehension towards space exploration. The images of the disintegrating shuttles, the realization of the fragility of human life in the face of cosmic forces, served as a stark reminder of the potential dangers lurking beyond our atmosphere. In the cosmic ocean, Earth is but a tiny island, a pale blue dot adrift in a sea of profound darkness. When we gaze up at the night sky we are confronted by the sheer immensity of the universe, and for some, this can be a truly daunting experience. The emptiness of space, the vast distances between stars and galaxies can evoke a sense of loneliness, a feeling of insignificance. It's a reminder of our own mortality, of the transient nature of our existence in the grand scheme of the cosmos. But this apparent emptiness is an illusion, a trick of perspective. 
In reality, the universe is teeming with activity, with the birth and death of stars, the collisions of galaxies, the dance of particles in the quantum foam. The vastness that inspires fear also inspires awe. It's a reminder of the boundless possibilities that exist, of the mysteries yet to be unraveled. It's a call to explore, to push the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. Consider this. The Milky Way galaxy, our cosmic home, contains hundreds of billions of stars, each potentially orbited by planets. And the Milky Way is just one of trillions of galaxies in the observable universe. The numbers are simply staggering, almost impossible for our minds to truly grasp. This vastness can make us feel small, insignificant. Our everyday problems, our hopes and dreams, can seem inconsequential against the backdrop of cosmic time and space. It's easy to feel overwhelmed, to feel like nothing we do really matters. But here's another perspective. The very atoms that constitute our bodies, the iron in our blood, the calcium in our bones, were forged in the hearts of stars long ago, scattered across the cosmos in supernova explosions. We are, quite literally, stardust. We are a part of this universe, intimately connected to its grand processes. Our existence, however fleeting, is a testament to the universe's incredible ability to create complexity, beauty, and consciousness. The vastness, then, is not something to fear, but to embrace. It is a canvas upon which the grandest story ever told is still being written. The universe, for all its beauty and wonder, can also be a place of immense power and destructive potential. From the depths of space, threats loom that could spell disaster for our planet, reminding us of our vulnerability in the cosmic arena. We know that Earth has been struck by asteroids and comets throughout its history. The dinosaurs, for example, were wiped out by a massive impact 66 million years ago. While such events are rare, the possibility of another catastrophic impact weighs on our collective consciousness. But it's not just asteroids we need to worry about. Our sun, the life giver of our solar system, can also unleash powerful bursts of energy known as solar flares and coronal mass ejections. These events can disrupt our communication systems, disable satellites, and even knock out power grids on a global scale. The threat from these cosmic events is real, but it's not a reason to cower in fear. Instead, it's a call to action. By understanding these threats, by developing technologies to detect and deflect them, we can mitigate the risks and safeguard our future. Around the world, scientists are constantly scanning the skies, searching for potentially hazardous asteroids, and studying the sun's activity. They are developing early warning systems, designing deflection missions, and working to improve our resilience against solar storms. We are, in essence, becoming the guardians of our own planet, using the power of science and technology to protect ourselves from the hazards of the cosmos. This is not science fiction, it's the reality of our existence in the 21st century. But perhaps the most important defense we have is our collective knowledge, our understanding of the universe and its workings. The more we learn about the cosmos, the better equipped we are to face its challenges. So the next time you look up at the night sky and feel a tinge of fear, at the vastness and the unknown, remember this. We are not helpless bystanders in the cosmic drama, we are active participants, capable of understanding and even shaping our destiny. For centuries, humans have gazed at the stars and pondered a profound question, are we alone in the universe? The possibility of extraterrestrial life, once science fiction, is now serious scientific inquiry. The vastness of the universe inspires awe and fuels our anxieties. The cosmos could harbor threats beyond our comprehension. The silence from the stars, the lack of contact, can be seen as evidence that we are alone, or that advanced civilizations remain hidden, observing us. But what if they are not benevolent? What if we encounter a species driven by conquest? This fear taps into our deepest primal instincts, our survival mechanisms. It's important to remember that our fear of alien invasion often reflects our own history, our own capacity for violence and destruction. We project our own fears and anxieties onto the unknown, imagining the worst-case scenarios as a way of coping with our own vulnerabilities. The aliens of our science fiction stories from H.G. Wells' Martians to the xenomorphs of the Alien franchise often serve as metaphors for our own societal anxieties. They embody our fears of the other, of the unknown, of forces beyond our control. But it's equally important to remember that the universe is not obligated to conform to our fears or our expectations. The possibilities of extraterrestrial life are as diverse and as wondrous as the universe itself. Instead of succumbing to paranoia and fear, we should approach the search for extraterrestrial intelligence with a sense of curiosity and open-mindedness. The discovery of life beyond Earth, if it ever happens, would be the most profound event in human history, fundamentally altering our understanding of our place in the cosmos. Space is vast, dark, and largely unexplored. It's the ultimate frontier, and like any frontier, it breeds uncertainty. 
this lack of control can be unsettling. We humans, creatures of habit and routine, find comfort in the familiar, in the predictable rhythms of our daily lives. But the cosmos with its black holes, supernovas and endless expanse, defies our attempts to impose order. It reminds us that we are but a small part of something much larger, a reality that can be both awe-inspiring and deeply unsettling. This inherent uncertainty can lead to a sense of existential dread, a feeling of insignificance in the face of the infinite. This fear of the unknown is deeply ingrained in our psyche. For millennia, humanity has looked to the heavens with a mixture of wonder and trepidation. Ancient civilizations wove myths and legends around celestial events, often attributing them to the wrath of gods or the whims of fate. This fear of the unknown, this cosmophobia, is not a weakness but a natural human response to the awe-inspiring scale of the universe. It's a testament to our capacity for wonder and our innate desire to understand the world around us. We humans have an innate desire for control, a need to make sense of the world around us. We build structures, create societies and develop technologies to exert our influence over the environment. But space, in its infinite vastness, represents the ultimate loss of control. This can be profoundly unsettling, forcing us to confront our limitations. Imagine yourself adrift in the void with Earth a distant speck of light. The silence would be deafening, the darkness all-encompassing. It's a scenario that can trigger our deepest fears, reminding us of our mortality. The sheer scale of the cosmos can be overwhelming. Our minds struggle to comprehend the vast distances and timescales of astronomy. A single light year is about 6 trillion miles. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is over 100,000 light years across. These numbers challenge our ability to grasp the universe's true nature. This can lead to a sense of vertigo, feeling lost in an unfathomable expanse. While the cosmos can evoke fear, it also beckons us with an irresistible allure. It's a realm of endless possibilities, a cosmic tapestry woven with wonders yet to be discovered. By venturing into space we push the boundaries of human knowledge and ingenuity unlocking secrets that have remained hidden for eons. Space exploration has driven technological advancements that have transformed our lives. From satellite communication to GPS navigation, from Earth observation systems that monitor our planet's health to medical technologies developed for astronauts, the quest to explore the cosmos has yielded tangible benefits here on Earth. But the impact of space exploration goes beyond technological advancements. It has the power to inspire, to ignite our imagination, and to remind us of the shared human experience. When we witness the iconic image of Earth rising above the lunar horizon, a pale blue dot against the backdrop of the vast cosmic expanse it shifts our perspective. We recognize the fragility of our planet, the interconnectedness of all life, and the importance of safeguarding our only home. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the fears of the cosmos. Remember, while the universe can be daunting, it's also a source of endless wonder and discovery. Facing our fears can open up new perspectives and deepen our understanding of the cosmos. Let me know in the comments if you've ever experienced cosmophobia or if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover next. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content on space and science. Until next time keep looking up.